When I downsized from a house to a boat, one of the hardest things to get rid of was my books. Yeah, I know, the whole point of this lifestyle is to have less so you can enjoy more. Yada yada. And space is a premium. But for me, our library on Rite of Passage is just as important a part of our boat's inventory as the food stores, the life jackets, and flares. Sure, we can't eat books, nor can we float on them for survival, but we can count on them to enrich our lives during downtime, and anyone who's ever been cruising before knows that there is plenty of downtime. When I look at our nautical library, I get excited for simpler times, when schedules are at the back of my mind, and time to read is abundant. These slightly moldy pages are capsules of knowledge patiently waiting to interact with a partner. The boat feels more like home today, now that I have unpacked the library for the season. It's the first time in a couple days that it's actually not crazy windy and wavy and rainy. So I think I'm gonna go into town and go to this cool grocery store I found. I think they're like a Goodwill for groceries, if that makes any sense. Let's say Publix has a case of this stuff and they break the case and it kind of gets messy, but the food's still good. They just donated to this place, which I'm completely okay with. I think it's a mile and a half, two mile walk, so it should be good for me. Get off this fucking boat. Of course, right as soon as I get ready to go into town, it starts raining. There's some wicked looking clouds over there. Hope I don't get rained on. It's all too common for us to overcomplicate life. I'm trying to untie those knots, to take it slow, take it day by day. We get so caught up that we forget about the simple aspects of living. Like walking to the grocery store, even if it takes all day. So Fort Pierce doesn't really have a lot going for it, let's be honest. But what it does have is peacocks. Look at these guys. Hey peacock. Put your feathers up. There's a baby. All the cars are stopping. Hi little baby. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, it's this one little section of town where there's peacocks all over the place. And I hear it's a huge fine if you hit them or mess with them. I think I'm about to get dumped on. Let's hope I get to the grocery store before it rains. Well, I did not make it to the store before it started raining. Whatever. The store is literally right there. And it just started raining. So, there's that. What do you want to bet the air conditioning is going to be so cold in here that I'm going to freeze my ass off. We can order groceries online and have them delivered to our doorstep if we really wanted to. But I don't ever want to be so busy that I can't take the time to harvest my own food. <laughs> Even if I'm harvesting from air-conditioned shelves with my cute little wagon. Spending your whole day getting groceries might sound mundane to some and absolutely dreadful to others. But to me, it's a fantastic way to spend my day. With each item that goes into my little cart, I think of a meal that I'll prepare for the crew in some faraway anchorage. It's pretty obvious that food's important to me. Good food. Good ingredients to be shared with great people. I'm waiting for Gordon and April and his son Gordon. They're heading out right now with one more load of supplies and then they're bringing the swim platform. And we're going to mount that shit and go to bed. Uh, Gordon and April are going to be living in the V-Birth for the next two or three weeks. As we go to Key West and then maybe dry Tortugas. Marquesas, we're gonna stop in West Palm, Stewart, Peck Lake, Miami. So yeah, pretty excited. And the boat looks good. Welcome! These three were the perfect crew to have aboard Rite of Passage for the inaugural run south. There was no sitting around waiting for stuff to happen with this group. Once I explained what needed to be done before we went to bed for the night, the ball was instantly rolling and shit got done. That is, as soon as they figured out how to fight the current and get on the boat. The worst task was mounting the swim deck while dealing with the current and choppy water. We stripped out more screw heads than I'd like to admit, but eventually we got it mounted and into our bunks we crawled. Thanks Gordon and Gordon. Everyone who uses the swim deck this season will be able to do so because of you. Who are you? Gordon Clay, Jim of the Fourth. <laughs> the Fourth? What got you on this boat? Ah, I followed my dad. What was it like being on the boat today? What'd you what was your experience? Relaxing and chill. All I did was lay down and sleep. <laughs> so 
That makes it awesome. Is that where you at slept night? last night? Yeah, that's where I slept. My ass froze. You gonna come back? Yeah, next weekend. I might. Yeah? Really? That's awesome. Hell oh, yeah. Stay longer next time. You got any more parting words of wisdom for people out here? Future people coming to the boat? Any advice for them? Catch a ride and just chill. Yeah. Make it easy. Yeah, easy going, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. Work. Two Gordons in one spot. It's a rare sight. It's a rare sight. Mm. Did you ever have all four together? No. No? No. Keep the four, yeah. Three of them together with the other day. Uh -huh. That's a wild time when there's three of you together. Well, I'm having a blast. Yeah? I love it. Too. What was your favorite part of today? Awesome. So today, the whole day. Well, what about it? What about it? I'm enjoying the day, having a drink. Oh, I got to drive the boat. And I got to go underneath the bridge. And I got to do that. Shit, I'm glad I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I drove it better than Gordon did. Did you? Gordon number three. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, driving it was the best part. Hell yeah. And going on the front up there. Hell yeah. To the team. That's my favorite spot to ride up there, too. Yeah. Titanic style. Yeah, I loved it. That was, oh, oh, well, all, all, this one day. Oh. Yeah. That was the best, except for the exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust is kind of sucked. But that was there. the best. That was the best part. Because I could put my feet in the water. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. We're here in the Manatee Pocket, uh, Stewart, Florida. We're gonna go pick up my dad and Kelly, um, and then probably go to Peck Lake and spend the night there. There's not a lot of wind here. It's a cool spot because you've got the Twisted Tuna and a bunch of bars and stuff like that, but we're gonna go for the secluded anchorage and go out to the beach and hang out, and yeah. Excited to get back to Peck Lake. I'm filming you guys getting in. That right, way, in case the swim platform breaks, it'd be funny. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who the break with. Uh -huh. I don't know, man. <laughs> if you've watched my earlier episodes, you'll remember that Gordon donated all of the wood for the swim platform. He and April bought a huge stack of rough cut oak to replace a few rotten boards on Chasta, and now I have a beautiful swim deck on the back of Rite of Passage. It's still in the beta phase of design, and I have a lot of work to do on it yet, but it's usable and it makes getting in and out of the dinghy way easier than before. If I haven't mentioned yet, I'm grateful for Gordon and April. Thankful for their generosity, and happy to have them aboard Rite of Passage as crew. Not to mention going anywhere with April is an order of magnitude more fun. We picked up Dad and Kelly at the Twisted Tuna, grabbed some beers and ice, and made our way back to the boat. You got the ship. Well, at least we're going the right direction. Look who made it to the boat. Hey. Hey. That's back driving. My dad has a tendency to say some pretty ridiculous stuff. Funny stuff. Hilarious stuff, actually. But for the sake of not offending anyone, we'll keep the reason for our laughter between ourselves. <laughs> As the sun retreated beyond the horizon, Kelly swayed from port to starboard in the hammock. With my dad behind the wheel of my boat that I worked so hard to be able to call my own, and two of my best friends along for the ride, my heart was full. For the first time in a while, I felt like I was home, and my family was right there with me. If you enjoy this video, please consider becoming a patron. It's kind of like tipping a bartender. A few bucks here and there goes a long way.